Okay, so hi guys, Alice and Marie. I welcome back to my channel. I welcome to my channel if you're new. And you will not believe what happened to me just one second ago. So basically, I was going through this, um, talking to you guys about the everything that was announced in the update and i look over to my recording software to see how long i've been recording for and it said i wasn't recording so sad times i don't know how long i was recording for before i had to stop but um basically <laughs> this video is just going to be going over everything that was um seen and slash announced in the new behind the sims summit this is going to be everything for the new packs for the sims 4 to project renee and i'm just really excited so let's get right on into the video because this is the second i tried it for it yay okay so it starts off with them talking about these waffles and there are a lot of waffles in the beginning of this because that is, that is because The Sims is doing its first stuff pack in three years. You heard that right. The Sims is doing its first stuff pack in three years and it's called the Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack. And this is just them kind of showing off the new stuff pack. Not the new stuff packs, but like the old stuff packs that came before this. And then it goes into them talking about the development and how they got the idea for this. Honestly, I like it. I, th I think that it... <laughs> I mean, The Sims is a company. They have to make money, right? But I'm thinking cool kitchen stuff. Um, country kit, well, country, the country kit, uh, the, 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 the country kitchen kit should have come in cottage living. Um, but I was just watching Little Simsy's video and she was like, oh, I was thinking that the kit, the kits would place the stuff packs. Apparently that isn't true. There's a new stuff pack. That is not all that was announced. There's all these waffle makers this is actually a really cute waffle maker um, and then they are revamping the cooking aspect of the sims where you can filter by everything vegetarian non-dairy meat fish and pastries so I really like that um, I think that's really really helpful like if you have a sim who's a vegetarian or a pescatarian or non-dairy where they're lactose intolerant because that is a that is a trait in the sims your sims can be lactose intolerant so i really like that and then this is a little segment where they're just talking about something and watch something free the cupcakes yes guys you can now make cupcakes in the oven you do not need the cupcake maker anymore thank god you don't need that anymore and then they're also adding these cute uh items to the to the I almost said kit to the stuff pack um because obviously stuff pack is both gameplay features and create a sim normally where kit is just um either gameplay or create a sim or build um so we're getting some new whisk earrings and it looks as far as I know we're also getting some aprons as well and then this is just showcasing the uh, new stand that's coming with it and to, it says tune in September 14th for the trailer for the pack and that is in two days from the day that I'm recording this I'm currently recording this on September 12th 2023 and that will be out Thursday so there will be a video on that And then, we got a huge, huge, huge bit of news here. It says, embrace the hustle and bustle. Ready for this, guys? With one tasty stuff pack, which we know about, an ex neighborly expansion pack, and more. Guys, we're getting a third expansion pack. A third expansion pack? Like, what, what expansion pack number are we on? Like, 14? Like, this is insane. Like, we're getting... A, this is a third expansion pack this year. Okay? 
because we first had growing together then we had horse ranch and then we have this new expansion pack which i don't even know what it could be truthfully i have no idea what this new expansion pack could be about i i i honest to god don't have any idea but i do like the way that this pizza and food looks And then it says, get busy September to December. So those packs will come out between September and December. So, and then this is just like s'more lore where they go over like lore of The Sims. And it's just, I don't know, I think it's kind of dumb. So we're going to skip over that. And then after that, we have the Simlish word of the day. And then we're finally, finally into Project Renee. And I'm really excited to kind of talk about this. I, I don't know, I'm going to just let this play and then I'll make my comments about it here in a second. But I, as I said, I'm going to let this play and then I'll make my comments about it as we go. Now that's one thing that makes me nervous, guys, is the cross-platform compatibility. And this is, I think this is a valid concern, because these, okay. So there's obviously two Sims mobile games, the Sims Free Play and the Sims Mobile. I have personally played both. Um... They are duller than washing paint dry. Because there's nothing to do in them. They're so boring. I don't really like them. Um, and I played them for years. And I, I don't know wh how I did. Because specifically The Sims Free Play. Was it? No. Was it? Yeah. The Sims Free Play. I think that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I didn't really like that one because it was just so tedious and like if you wanted your sim to have a baby they couldn't you had to complete like certain quests and that's really for both of them I don't really like how in them like you couldn't like do like whatever you wanted as a player like you kind of had to like fit within a specific mold that you were given um, based off of the level you were on I didn't really like that about it but I don't know. The only thing that makes me worried about The Sims 5 being able to be played on mobile and PC is the graphics. Because I'm telling you right now, if my if my phone has to run my gaming PC, what my gaming PC runs, that's not going to be a good situation. I don't know. I'm not trying to be any which way. I'm just trying to be realistic. And it's like I even have an iPhone 14, and I plan to upgrade to the iPhone 15. But it's it's one of those things that it's like sometimes just because you can doesn't mean you should. 
And that's probably my only reservation with The Sims 5, is the fact that it's going to be on mobile. I don't really like that. I don't know if I'm alone in that. I'm just worried about the graphics, because for me, like, the way that my game looks is part of my enjoyment. <laughs> um, and if I... There's, like, certain things I do to The Sims 4 that I don't know whether it'll be available on The Sims 5 if you, know, you have to do mobile and um, PC, but we'll see. And this is another thing. It says Project Renee and The Sims 4 will exist side by side. So I, I, that bit really confused me a little bit when I saw that. Because I was like, what is the Project Renee coming out sooner than we think? Because, like, I, like, I'm just really confused. Because if the Project Renee and The Sims 4 will exist side by side, that means The Sims 4 and The Sims 5 will be, like, get, still getting content at the same time. I, I mean, The Sims 4 is pretty much already an unplayable mess because of how many DLCs are on it. I mean, they're basically doing the same thing to The Sims 4 that they're doing that they did to The Sims 3, where there's just so much crap in the game that it's like impossible to run even if you have an expensive computer. Like the amount of like the, there's this one YouTuber I watch. Her name is Miss Lollipop Sims, and she's on Twitch. She has an RTX 4090 and a 64 gigs of RAM and an i9 13900K processor. Top of the line you computer you can get now. Her computer, her Sims game lags like a, you know what. So, and I have a pretty decent computer. I mean, I don't have the best, but I have a 2070 Super, and my game shouldn't lag like this. This is not, like, dead by daylight. This isn't a demanding game. I, uh, it just makes me worried. That's another thing. I'm going to let her finish, but I, this is another thing. Okay, before we get into this, which I'm really excited about the Project Name being free, but I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of multiplayer in, with The Sims. Let me tell you why. Me as a Sims player, I have made a Sim. I've made her and her husband. He's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. They, I, I have a storyline in my mind that I want to play out with them. If it's, if the game is multiplayer, then is like somebody gonna be able to just wreck my household? Like I don't like that. I don't know. We'll see how it works. Will I still buy The Sims Five? Probably. Just to, like, play it. Because, I mean, I do YouTube and it's good content. But, I don't know, it just makes me nervous. <laughs> and, and I think that's a valid concern. So you heard that there. When Project Renee comes out, or The Sims 5, I, I hate calling it Project Renee because it's The Sims 5. Um, but when The Sims 5 comes out, it will be 100% free to play, which we all kind of suspected.
-hmm. So they're they're going to add seasons to Project Renee base game, which I'm not ir mad about. It just is like. Seasons has been a DLC pack added in every, like, series of the game. I don't know, it just makes me worried. I don't, I'm, like, just going on about, this makes me worried, this makes me worried, this makes me worried. But it, it legitimately makes me worried. Um, so, I don't really have anything else to say other than the fact that with the I mean, I do like the fact that the weather is going to be a base game, but it seems like this game is going to be very, very microtransaction-y. I do like the fact that they want to make it as broad of a playing field as humanly possible. Actually, I do like that the fact that the game is free to download. I do like that. And then this is just kind of like about the merch and things like that. That's kind of like the end of everything that was kind of important. <laughs> um, yeah, I know this video is probably a little dull honestly I'm not gonna lie um but I just really wanted to make this because I don't know I felt like it was kind of important to make it um but I don't know the sims team makes me very very anxious when it comes to things like this because they're known for being cash grabby and things like that so like I'm just hoping that with the sims 5 is actually good and it's not like a flop but i do one thing that i already like so far is that the game that the sims 5 will be completely 100 percent free to play so i really really like that fact um but i mean other than that <laughs> um i don't really have anything else to really say at this point besides to close off the video so um, yeah, if you guys liked today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and ding the notification bell and leave a comment down below about what you think about this. Um, I, just, I don't really know quite what to think about it. Um, it's, uh, I got mixed feelings, honest to God, I have mixed feelings about it. So, you guys are going to let me know what you think down below and as always, I love you all and I will see you in my next video.